Well, hello, Thanksgiving prep, full mode, going strong right here. And what I love is the side dishes. And this is kind of a mix of a delicious cornbread and a corn, scalloped corn, and that's what I love. I love when you converge things that are just delicious and they're great. So that's what this is, and it has some jalapeno in it to kind of spice it up. You could leave it out if you want, but why would you? So to start, we just want to get our dry ingredients going. So in this bowl, we're gonna have some flour. So really what we're making is kind of a quick cornbread mix, but it's gonna be a lot more moist, and it's gonna be a lot more of a side dish than a cornbread. So we're gonna put some flour in there. We're gonna put some cornmeal in there which is kind of the beginnings of what a cornbread would be. We're gonna add some salt because you need to make sure you offset the sweetness of the corn, but also just balance everything out. And we're gonna add a little bit of smoked paprika. If, if you know me, if you follow me, you also know I love smoked paprika. It adds a great smoky flavor to so many things. To that, we're also gonna add some baking powder. So just like in a, you know, an actual cornbread, we need that baking powder to give it the lift to really set it off, and that's what we're doing here. So that's our dry ingredients, which you can see is extremely simple. So to that, we're gonna add a couple eggs, and I'm just gonna kinda put them right there in the middle. That to me is the best way, just kinda drop them in. And the best part of this is, it's really simple and quick to put together. So this isn't like an intensive side dish, this is one that's really simple. So I have my eggs in there, and I just wanna break up the yolks, kinda just work those together. I don't like to mess too many things up if I don't have to. Why get out another container here? I don't wanna do that. So now the corn, which is kind of the, the point here. So I home freeze my corn. You can use canned corn, bought corn, frozen corn, whatever you want. Some of it I leave whole, and we're gonna just put that right in there. So that's the beautiful corn that I froze during the summer. Look how beautiful it is. It is the essence of the season, and that is what I love. And then to that, we're gonna now have the same amount of corn, but we need it to be creamed. You can buy cream style corn, or you can just blend your own. Now, within seconds, we have cream style corn. Now, true cream style corn, you use like this cream, or we actually used to make it growing up, because for some reason, as kids, and I know most kids are like this, you think creamed corn is good. Now, as an adult, I don't want to eat it as a side dish, but in here it really makes sense, because you're really helping bind everything together, and that's what the great part of it is. So we're gonna put in this creamed kind of corn, and again, you can see what it's gonna do. It's gonna kind of bring everything together, and that's exactly what you want. Now, I want to get it all in there, all that goodness, all that sweet corn flavor, the essence of summer. To that, I'm also gonna add some sour cream or Greek yogurt. Now, I often usually only have Greek yogurt on hand. It is completely interchangeable in this recipe with sour cream. So if you have always sour cream, use sour cream. There might be slight more tang, a little bit more flavor in the sour cream, but if you buy a full fat Greek yogurt, it's gonna be a lot the same. I have that in there, and now the little bit of spice, jalapeno. I went out to my garden actually and got in what was left because I still have a few out in the garden and they're beautiful. They have that beautiful color on them. They have the seeds. Now, if you take out some of that pith and some of the seeds, you're gonna take out some of the heat, not all of it, but some of it, which is kind of nice because if you don't want it to be too hot, but just kind of have the essence, that's what you're gonna have here. So I'm gonna slice them up first crossways. And you can see here what we're doing is just kind of mixing it up. Sometimes, you know, Thanksgiving can be kind of one note. You get a lot of bland flavors. You get a lot of breadiness, which this is gonna have some breadiness to it. But this is also gonna have the jalapeno, which wakes it up. The smoked paprika adds a little something special to it. And that's what I really love. So it adds kind of all those elements, and that's what's really important here. So we're making sure to get it really kind of chopped up. It's nothing too major here. I want to make so everyone sees the green, everyone sees what we're having. I don't like to hide things, which the jalapeno isn't gonna be fooling anyone. There's no hiding that. So we're gonna throw that in there. And then what I had done is I melted butter just on the stove. You can melt it in the microwave too. I wanna to add some butter. It's Thanksgiving, so I think butter has to officially be in every dish to truly be Thanksgiving. So we're gonna add in some of that. We're just gonna dump it in there and I'm gonna reserve some of this butter. And we're gonna use it here in a minute. So I'm gonna stir this together and then we're gonna make a topping and we'll be done. You can see it all mixed together. What I love is it's more festive than just corn casserole. It has that green in it. It has a little bit of smoked paprika, so you get a little bit of that red flake, but it's not just like paprika. It's gonna have more flavor. It's gonna have that smokiness, which I think with the jalapeno, I don't know, I'm someone that one, I can be really a traditionalist. In some years I go full on only the normal staples at Thanksgiving. 
And other years I'm like, you know what? Let's switch it up. Let's have something a little different. And that's what this is. So I'm putting it in a cast iron skillet. One, because I like the look. I like the ease. I think it works really well. I'm sorry, I found a little bit more in the bowl and I, I don't waste that. So I'm putting it in there, just kind of smoothing the top. Nothing perfect. Then I have a little bit of butter left. I have some butter crackers. Now what I'm gonna do, I like, again, it's Thanksgiving. So at Thanksgiving, we kind of do things that we wouldn't do on a normal weekly basis maybe. And that's like put a buttery, crispy, crackery topping on a side dish that's already bready. But for this, it's delicious. And it kind of just adds again, that just like extra special little touch. So I'm gonna put some melted butter with that because I think we already established it's Thanksgiving and that's what we do. I'm gonna mix it up because what that's gonna do is help brown it. Gonna help it have a little bit more flavor. And it's gonna just give it kind of that like great finish on top. This is almost, I'm from the Midwest. What does that mean? It is casserole central here. So, or hot dish, if you're used to the hot dish world. So that's what this is kind of in a sense a play on, but it's not a full meal. So we're gonna put that over the top. This is just my childhood dreams coming true. Growing up, we had a scalloped potato dish that mom made and it would have crushed up cornflakes on top and it had a sweetness to it. No ounce of health in that thing, but my goodness, did we love it. And that was our favorite thing around if it was like a special occasion. There it is. Look how pretty, it's actually just a pretty one to look at and that's what I like. It has a nice simplicity to it. So I'm gonna take a little bit right there on the edge, or was a little bit and I don't want that to burn. So I'm gonna put this in the oven. We're gonna let it bake. Then we're gonna eat it. Doesn't this look beautiful? I pulled it out of the oven just a couple minutes ago. The crackers get all crusty and browned and beautiful and crinkly. It's puffed. It's kind of more like a corn spoon bread. It's not a corn bread. It's spoonable. It's like a scalloped corn. It's delicious. So I'm of course gonna have to try it for, for research. This is what I love. Look at how you see pieces of corn in it. And yet you also see the specks of the jalapeno. It has good moisture though still to it too. So definitely not a cornbread. And I smell the jalapeno. I love that. Obviously it's still piping hot, but. Mm. 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 Okay, one. I love scalloped corn. Two, I love cornbread. Three, this is amazing because what I love is you get the sweetness of the corn, but then you also get just that, that hint of jalapeno without it being hot, spicy. It just adds that element of flavor. That smoked paprika almost completely disappears, but adds that depth of flavor that you just love. And look how beautiful that is. It's a perfect side dish, and I think you're just gonna really love it because it's unique. So what do I hope you do with this? I hope you share this video around because yeah, that helps me, but it helps everyone see that Thanksgiving can be doable. It can be unique. It can have tradition. It can be delicious food that isn't hard to put together, but it's just amazing to eat. And that is the point. Check my website, wiseguy.com for this recipe, all my other recipes, especially all my Thanksgiving recipes right now. They're all on there. They're delicious. They're great. And I think you're gonna enjoy all of them. So I hope you have some friends over, have family over, gather around, be thankful, make good food. That's the whole point of the season.